What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again with another Gims rant. How are we all doing? New start, new week. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, this week I sort of just want to have a talk about sort of some of the events that have transpired with uh, Dead by Daylight in the last two weeks. Maybe going back a little bit further than that, especially for one point. And just... Yeah, I, I, some people are a bit confused that uh, <laughs> some people are a bit confused that I like some of the things in the recent PTB, the mid chapter PTB, um, and you know it's important not to be negative for negative sake all the time. And if I actually like something, I should probably say that I actually like it. Um, I'm not going to be a drone. I'm not going to be a pawn. I'm not going to be someone who just agrees with the narrative because it's the popular thing to do. I've always been a person of my own mind and that's the way I feel. Other people who don't like the PTB and had, you know, a sufficient amount of problems that have just pissed them off, that's fair enough too. I can totally understand that. And there's definitely merit to what they say as well. I'm not saying there isn't. But I just want to talk about things um, starting with last year in the Twins Chapter 18. I know this is an old topic now and we're all moving on. And to me... That's a problem that we're moving on from it. Uh, there still isn't, you know, I know it's a new year, new vibes sort of a feel to behavior. And this happens every single year, by the way. But we are still feeling the effects of chapter 18. We are still feeling the effects of no new or additional content in the current live game. Um, ever since the Twins chapter, pretty much it has felt to me, as well as others, that there wasn't any new content because A, you didn't get a new map. B, the twin sucks, and the playstyle of the twin sucks, and this is just my opinion. Um, and C, the survivor's perks didn't work initially, and then later on they worked and they're crap. So it just felt like a missing chapter to me. Um, and this is where I sort of back up, the, you know, the blight a bit, because it feels like a whole new entire, you know, it's a new killer. It's a new ability. I know it's another fast, quick killer and all that sort of stuff, but there's definitely some, uh, learning curve with the blight. He's fun to play. He's, he's interesting. You got to work hard to get a win. I think it's cool. I really, I really like the blight and that's why I back him up still to this day. But then of course we get to the end of year statement after they dropped the twins chapter, chapter 18. And, you know, it's all just about new content coming and oh we got so many exciting things coming and oh my god everyone be excited please be excited we want you to be excited it's only talking about new content and then oh my god look at year five it's going to be brilliant you guys are going to we're going to blow your mind at year five they're only talking about delivering new content not actually fixing the core game and i told you back then that i'm worried so i'm still worried now well, after this, well, with the twins, should I say, we've got the Mori nerf. That was a shadow nerf. It just got dropped for no reason. Well, there's a, I guess it was OP. Yeah, okay, it was OP. But there was no discussion about it. It was just like, oh, yeah, this is what we're doing with this. Two hooks now to do a Mori with no additional blood points, just an animation that's subpar at best. Uh, this, this was lazy work, just finishing off the year, you know what I mean? And it kind of just was that last little nail in the coffin for some killers. Ah, oh, I can't be asked with you. So it's it's stupid. It, it was a bit stupid. And then, of course, we had the Undying nerf. And uh, that's just on the uh, PTB currently. And yeah, it's been rendered pretty much, for all intents and purposes, ruined. Um, it, it's just ruined. It's funny I say that because it's ruined for the pairing with Ruin. And uh, that's why people used it. We didn't use it for Devour Hope most of the time. Uh, rank 1 play, we usually... Usually paired it with Ruin. And Terrico spoke about this briefly, saying that it was a beginning of a match collapse. And you know how the, you know how there's an end game collapse? Well, it was a sort of an end game collapse for the start of the game. And I totally agree. That's what Undying provided for people. We're not going to have that anymore. And, you know, that's fine. It definitely needed a nerf. I'm not saying it didn't. But uh, to smash it into the ground like they do with everything with killers and then not touch DS for an entire two years... Yeah, it just seems a little bit biased to me. And then, of course, people in the PTB, and this is another subject that has really annoyed me as the uh, time has gone on. I'm not thinking about it every day and keep letting it keep me up at night. But at the same time, people are frustrated with the PTB that there was no key changes. Now, they never said there was going to be any key changes. And in fact, I've only said to people on streams, you know, when is, you know, people have asked me when a key is going to be changed. And I said, don't expect it for five months at least. Because they're not interested in key changes. I know they're not interested in key changes. To me, it's obvious they're not interested in key changes. Um, they say it's an animation thing. They've just put in new animations for this PTV. So it, it, they're okay putting in complete content in the game. Why weren't they happy with putting this incomplete content in the game? It's all very confusing. The point is, they have no idea what they're doing when it comes to the key changes. So that's why I think 
it's going to be a long time. It's got nothing to do with animations. Of course, there will be needed, you know, new animations will be needed, but come on. But anyway, just, yeah, there's a lot of frustrations coming in this year. And I understand it's been a difficult year last year for, for the world, you know, not just behavior. But this year, I'm really hoping we get some quality of life fixes, FPS, hitboxes, just general running of the game stuff. But we've got no news on anything yet. And uh, we are getting into February soon. So I'm just hoping that we do, in fact, learn from last year Get our priorities set for this year. Stop with the new content as much. Obviously, it's it's needed. But just fix your core game. Don't worry about mobile. Don't worry about all that. Don't worry about loot boxes. Don't worry about that. You don't need loot boxes, by the way. Fix your core game. I just want to make sure that we get on the same page. And another thing I briefly want to touch on is dev communication. Because I spoke about our communication with the devs and how it's absolutely appalling at times. You guys need to update us more on things. PTB, you didn't even really announce on anything. You know, Twitter was just bare bones. It was nothing. There was nothing there. You didn't say anything on Twitter about your PTB. You still haven't. It's weird. It's very strange. Very odd. But anyway, guys, that's it for me uh, this week. This definitely was a rant. It was me just covering some of the up to this point... Uh, uh, events that have happened and you know I'm not completely happy with the PTB it definitely has some glaring issues but at the same time it's a PTB it's stuff there's things in there there's aspects of the game that are in there that are incomplete I think we can all agree to that that's what a player test build is it's an opportunity for us to get in there and mess around with the things that we're expecting to come into the game do I think the clown should be stronger yes I do do I think that the animations suck right now because they're unpolished yes I do Hopefully they get things on track, guys. Let's just remain positive, try to push forward and provide that feedback to them, even though I'm I'm not sure if they listen. I'm not sure we're going to do a video on that at some point, but just provide feedback. That's the best thing we can do. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you did. And also consider joining the Gimmicks Nation on Discord. All the links are in the description below. All right, guys, have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow night for the stream. See you later.